Well, good morning. You know, I get tired of listening to all this stuff out of all these different people. And everything going on. All this socialism and communism and uh, fascism and whatever kind of ism you want to talk about. All that bureaucracy and everything. It's all wrong. It's all bad. Because, well, in the first place, there's something about student loans again. They're, the Republicans are trying to cut the money going to education and uh, everything else. Well, you know, that's the problem with socialism. It denies and eliminates justice. Now, like I've said, I'm a religious man. I believe in God and Jesus Christ. And one of the things that uh, is in the New Testament is man is worthy of his labor. The worker is, lab is worthy of his hire. And that's absolutely true. If a person's out here working and they're supposed to get $10 an hour, say, and they honestly work, do the job, put in 20 hours, they ought to get $200. Now, if you sit and look, well, after all the taxes and everything, if they get a hundred dollars, they're lucky. Now, the government's got all this stuff out here where they've given out these, oh, that, uh, <laughs> all that stuff with the housing and with the student loans and there. They got loans all over the place that they've authorized. That is taxpayer money. Now, if you look at the two-party political system, the representatives, as they're called, and the senators, as they're called, don't represent the people of their districts, their constituents, at all. The representatives represent either the Republican or the Democratic Party. The senators don't represent their states. They represent the Democratic or the Republican Party. And the Republican and Democratic Party are mobs. They've got mob bosses. It's no different than the old mafia that was around. It's no different than uh, any of this other stuff. Because they're saying, this is what you get, and you're going to pay all these taxes. This is protection money. If you want us to protect you, but they don't protect the citizens. They protect everything they want. You know, there is absolutely no reason you cannot justify sending all them weapons and money to Ukraine. You possibly can justify sending a little bit of aid to Israel. Okay? But Russia never caused that problem over there with Ukraine. The United States and its buddies in NATO did. Look at it close. Uh, all that stuff pushing on Iran. Oh, we're going to go to war with Iran. The Congress just authorized the president, if he needs to, to go to war with Iran, to attack Iran. Baloney. If Iran does something that is attacking the United States of America, 
not the troops the United States of America's got stashed in Iran or in the area, but the United States proper of America. Nothing to do with corporations. They then Congress, go sit down in there, all 535 of you, and declare war on Iran. And then, President Biden, you will legitimately be the Commander-in-Chief of the United States military force. And you can authorize to wipe Iran off the map because there is no collateral damage in war. See, now people's got the wrong idea. Uh, there's all kinds of things wrong. Education system, if they cut the money to the education system, they won't be able to educate the children. They don't educate the children now. Go look at the reading store scores. Give them something decent to read and see if they can understand and make sense out of it. Most all the money winds up going into some legal hoorah of some kind. Camp Lejeune. Ah, them people that suffered the diseases from that toxic water can get between a hundred thousand and five hundred thousand dollars. But who gets the lion's share of that money? It's one of those law legal offices. A bunch of them fancy lawyers. They get 30, 35, 40 percent. What? Uh, the court gets such and such a percentage and then the poor guy that got the disease from the toxic water has to pay taxes on his share to the government. There's something wrong with this whole system of socialism. Them guys sitting back there, they can talk what they want. I don't care whether they're Democrats or Republicans all them vaunted people, all of them, they're not honest. They're criminals. They're crooks. So quit worrying about spending all this money. Pull all them soldiers back into the United States. Get them ready to go if we're attacked. Quit spent. Why should the uh, DAV and all these other veterans outfits be soliciting money for veterans that politicians have caused to be maimed and crippled? The government should have the money set up in some kind of a fund to take care of all that medical stuff, all that therapy and that. No need for these other organizations to do it. The government had it planned out when they started that war. Oh, it's going to cost us three billion dollars in ammunition. It's going to cost us five billion dollars in uh, military paychecks. It's going to cost us two billion dollars to maintain the equipment. Uh, okay, so we got to have these billions of dollars. Now, after it's over, we will have these many uh, veterans that will need support, will need therapy, will need uh, lifetime care, so we're going to have to have 15 billion dollars to pay for that. Those people, you see the time, people can yell about guns and about uh, the Second Amendment and everything, but the thing they don't realize 
as soon as that Congress and that sends a permits and allows those soldiers to be put in all them foreign countries, the Korean border still there. Uh, you got them in Iran, you got them in Syria, you got them all over the world. Sitting in NATO, you got them in Germany, you got them. Guess what? Those are weapons. They are guns. Don't care what you say. I don't care if it's a man with blood and uh, flesh and blood like me. He's a weapon when he's a soldier or a sailor or an airman. He's a soldier. And guess what? To the government, he is simply a weapon. And the government pulls the trigger. If there's any collateral damage, if that soldier shoots an innocent child or an innocent woman or a bomb blows up 50,000 innocent people, it's not that soldier. It's not that airplane. It's not that ship. It's not that gun. It's the man that pulled the the men that pulled the trigger, which would be the congressman who authorized the use, and the president, who unconstitutionally is the commander-in-chief without a declaration of war. Think about it. You want to worry about crime and criminals and corruption? Think about it. Have a good day and may God bless you all. Think about things.